Oh, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Wyatt. My voice is getting old like the rest of me. and uh, But I wanted to continue with this idea of orthodontics of the future. This is what orthodontics will do these, this type of cases. And there's no movement it, when you're using this Bill Wyatt's uh, straight, uh, what we call straight wise orthodontics is just getting to the point of what's wrong and what you can do. And I want to show and back up the things that I'm saying here that you can make any movement that you can use in orthodontics except separating the suture on somebody that's 40, 50, 60 years old. And you may be able to do some of that, but we've been able to separate the sutures and spread the maxilla out on people in their 30s and a few of them in their 40s. And I think a, a better way later would be to put some tads on the distal of the upper centrals down into the bone and put spring in the anterior part as well as the palatal separator in the back. But let's get on with this case right here. This is one of the deepest bites cases I've ever seen. And I'm gonna show this young man's facial structure. Uh, you wouldn't realize that you look at this guy, he looks perfectly normal. This vertical height of the face here couldn't be much better. I mean, the face is divided up. And when you look at the teeth, you wonder how on earth his teeth could be that bad off and still have the facial structure look like they are. So I'm saying we can move teeth up and down like this at will and make as and move them as far as you want to and you bring them together. And when you look at this guy's uh, bite, how deep it is, you wonder how the face could look this way. When you look at his smile, you don't really pick it up that much. You don't realize that his lower teeth may be up in this part of the mouth. Uh, he's, he's, so let's get over it. I'm gonna run through a whole bunch of pictures real fast if you want to see how we did this. We did this back in, I think, the late 70s. Uh, I remember it was uh, 76. That was, we'd already started the case. And some way or another, I lost the models on this case, but I didn't get the pictures of them. But when he opens his mouth and puts his upper teeth and lower teeth together, You've got a gap in here that looks like it's, it's almost uh, three quarters of an inch open. Now, when he closes, these lower teeth go up in an inch somewhere. You can see that. Oh, some pictures will go, come on later on. And uh, this was 1976 when we hadn't been doing just orthodontics very long. Well, I mean, total orthodontics. I've been doing it for years before that. All right, let me show from the side. Now, we used our little in, uh, arches to lower this, but this was a different type of what we have now. And then we'll close this. We'll put something here to... And today we would come in and put a pad up here where he, these teeth would touch and then they, he, he couldn't bring these together. These would go down and these would go up and these teeth would come together. They'll move up like that. And you think, how on earth can they move that much? And they do not get bigger in any way. They just move together. And you can't do that surgically. You'd have to go in there and 
cut this mac cell loose and cut it in pieces. And then when you went to lengthen the jaw or something down here, you would have to do that. But nature allows you to do this. And you can let nature pull this together and the whole thing will change. Much safer, much as far as it is far, far better than, than doing the surgical stuff like this. Now let's go to the other side of the mouth. And you can look like it's got oh, about three quarters of an inch of opening in here. Now, we will hold this little wire coming, around, coming in here. It'll be picking these teeth up. Now we would put these intruding arches. It'd be this, if you like here, we'd be keeping this up to pull this down. I don't know what that note discard that's okay. Now uh oh messed up. Here we go again. Alright. <coughs> Looking at it from the top. And this was an extremely crowded case, but he was missing a molar over here when we started, and we took a tooth out over here where it was a bad tooth. And now we open this up, the lateral sticking way out like that. And you would, people would look at this case and say, the only way you can straighten this out is just extract the teeth and make the guy a set of dentures. But watch what can be done orthodontically. And this, to me, is the way orthodontics is going to be done. We will have less surgery, and we can do most of these surgical cases simply with orthodontics. Now, if you don't believe that, well, I'm sorry, but that's a, my feeling of it. On the bottom, we took out the first bicuspid, we have the second bicuspid. Now, here it is, eight of 76, and we're, we're moving along pretty good here at this. Now at 77, we have the teeth are just about together. Now these teeth didn't grow any longer, they just drifted together like this. Now back then we used elastic thread. You see this little thing you know, going right here, pulling this out here. We didn't have these little uh, chain elastics that we use later on. But we pulled it out with elastic thread. We had a spring in there to open that up. And you can widen anybody's arch at any time during their life, I don't care how old they are or what nationality or anything else, you can do this all their life. Now you can see the indentation of his lower teeth into the gum tissue up above. And we kept going with this until we opened this out. Now we used different wires and things back then and this was a bandit case. Of course, we didn't have brackets uh, when we started this case. Brackets are far, far better than the bands. Now uh, here it is, three of 77, I believe, and uh, that's not too far down the line. But we've got this leveling out now, out of here, and this has opened up and got room for these teeth to come in. And you can move the teeth virtually any way you want to using this, this simple method that I've come up with. Now I use the 018 slots and I think it's much better to use them than, than the larger wires. Any big thing we want to expand it, we use the big daddy parts to do that. Okay, I think this is 3 of 77. Right here. I'm going to go ahead pretty quick. We're closing the space on the bottom arch. 
and up above too. Now we're getting it flattened out. And we've still got a deep bite. And up above we are pulling these uh, teeth together with numerous cuspids or one by cuspid on both sides. I thought there was a motor out there to start with, but I don't believe it was just a bicuspid. Now on the bottom we're nearly completely closed too, and this is six of 78. In other words, we didn't spend a lot of time doing this type of case. Now, we've got the bottom closed completely, and we're opening this way, it's biting back in the back, and his lower teeth are down here now, and they used to be up here. Some people would look at this case today. They do not teach this type of orthodontics at the orthodontic school. Now here is 9 of 78. And this 9 of 78, he's almost together. And the whole bone structure is changing tremendously. And it's coming together like you want it to be. Now we've got this space closed. He did not have wisdom teeth. If I don't, I don't bring any, didn't have any x-rays at this point, but I took Hanrex x-rays to see that. Now in two of 79, we're using some midline elastic coming across this way. And here we were in the class two elastic over here, pulling these teeth in this direction and these in this direction. And that's lining this up. And we've got the midline almost on the money there. And got a little bit of gap in the upper, but we'll continue to move in that together. And there it is. We took the braces, took the bands off. Now you had to, back then you had to close the space. We hooked a little elastic here, put a pad here and made a gap in it, and ran this rubber band over to the other side. Did the same thing on the bottom, and then a chew bubble gum even, you know, for a day or two. As soon as these gaps got together, we took the impressions and hoped you had the, the torque in the teeth correctly. In other words, you'd have to have it fuller. And then when you close those spaces, it moved back together to some extent. With brackets, you can finish them just like you want to and show the person, say, this is what you're going to get. Here you don't really know that. Now this is 12 of 979, and this is about two, two and a half years or something like that that we worked on this young man. That's 12 of 79, and we'll come in and we take the bands off the teeth and make the retainers for him. Now this is the upper retainer, and we put a bite plate, his lower teeth fit into here. If he uses that bite plate retainer, his case cannot lower anymore. In other words, he can't, his teeth can't go up here, they come to this point and stop. And then his muscle structure may close the whole thing to where it's equal here, where the pressure of the erupting teeth and the occlusion pressure of biting the teeth together ends up with this height in here. And now that's the retainer we had him in, and that's the last 
and I want them to put the show the starting fish along with the 